everyone and welcome to today's video. We are doing a vlog today. Jack is here. Hello. <laughs> Sorry, I was figuring out what he's doing. He's stolen his lick mat. He had a... He's just chucked it at the TV. <laughs> Oi, oi. He had a lick mat like two days ago and we haven't took it off him because he likes playing with it. <laughs> There's no danger with a plane with it. So it's far too, he's not going to swallow anything. He might put his tooth through it, but it's quite thick that one, isn't it? Because mm. it's the round one. Anyway, hello. Vlog today. The plan is we're going to go off on a hike, but we woke up late. So we're kind of just sitting in limbo a little bit because it's too late to go out in the morning. But it's like 12 and we've just really, you've just had your breakfast, haven't you? So we can't have lunch early and then go. So we're currently just sitting in limbo. The plan is we're going to go to Ingram because we're kind of making our way through all of the Northumberland walks at the minute, aren't we? Mm -hmm. We did Simon's side last week. We did Chopwell the week before. Which, was it Northumberland or is that Durham? Or is it Newcastle? God knows. Northumberland loops around Newcastle. So it's hard to know when you're in it and when you're not in it. Some of the walks are still closed from uh, the storms last year the year before so we're gonna do ingram i spent i think you did as well so much of my childhood at ingram mm. ingram is this big valley like a national park it's a valley, yeah. um it's like a national park in a national park isn't it it's just this big vast area of like valleys and little streams and little li is it like a river it's like a shallow river going all the way through those. So people like what I what happened in my childhood is it was would pull up, get picnic chairs, and then build a dam for the entire time we were there. I spent a lot of my childhood there, got really bored. I also prefer forests, like that's my kind of walks. But this one is more open, isn't it? I don't know, I haven't done this walk before, Jack has. Is it more open? It's a bit more open, but it's more like um not fields, but just like grassland. Kind yeah. Of thing. Uh -huh. yeah. We're doing Lynn Hope Spout, which is the most popular walk in Ingram because it, it's not really waymarked Ingram. It's literally just like, it's a valley. here's a valley, do whatever you want in it. It's all kind of public path, so you can go wherever. We've done a walk before, before we got Oakley, but this one's kind of like the walk that's in Ingram and it leads up to a waterfall and then we turn back. I think so. Well, I think we might... Go past the waterfall. Right, okay. But Lynn Hope's back to waterfall. And that's that's what we're doing today, is what I'm trying to say to you. The pla That takes an hour from where we are to get there. So it's a bit of a journey to get there. And the walk that we're doing, three miles, was it? The route map is saying it's going to take about two hours, but we walk quite quick, don't we? Yeah. Especially when I'm not taking my camera, so I don't think it will take two hours. But it's three miles. It's a nice route. We're still kind of getting back into the... I'm not back into the swing, into the swing of hikes with Oakley. So we haven't been doing like super, super long ones. Like I think the Chopwell one was what? Two mile, two and a half mile? Because yeah. we did two. Yeah. And then the Simon side one was probably about a mile and a half, two miles. Because we combined two different walks, didn't we? So yeah. about a mile and a half, two miles. Yeah. So we're still doing shorter walks whilst we're still getting used to it. We're still training them to perform the way that we want on his harness and his lead and things like that. So we're not doing too long of walks, otherwise we could go and do a big hike over Ingram. But it's just, he's not ready yet. And also it's quite warm today. It's a nice sunny day in Northumberland, which is few and far between. So it's very, very nice. It's about 16 degrees. Mm -hmm. So three miles is a good route, I think. The plan, I think we're gonna go to Morrison's, get a meal deal there for lunch and then set off. Mm -hmm. So then we've got like an hour for a food to go down. But currently, I'm not sure what we're doing. I don't know. I don't know. Could do the garden stuff, or playing game, or... Yeah, I, go do your garden and stuff. I might look at boots. So my walking boots... are mouldy. <laughs> and we don't know how it's happened. We think they were wet and we've left them in the car with no kind of... Ventilation. Yeah, ventilation. ventilation. And there's literally mould. It's not horrific. There's not mould all over them. It's just like but yeah. round the edges, it's literally... There's literally mould. And they were 
we put them back in the car and then it was making the car stink. So Jack popped them outside because we didn't want to deal with them because you were going to the gym or something, weren't you? Mm -hmm. Or going out. Yeah. So we put them outside, forgot about them, left them overnight and it's poured. So now they're just soaking. So they're mouldy and wet. So I need some new hiking shoes and I'd really like to get some like nice ones, like some good ones. So I don't want to just go to Mount Mountain Warehouse and pick some out. I want to have a little bit of a research, a little bit of a look online before. And then if I go to Mountain Warehouse and buy some, that's fine. If not, I'll buy them online. I'm not sure if I'm going to wear them today. <laughs> it's disgusting, but I might have no choice. Yeah. If not, if, the, if we're going to check on them, if they're not dry, I might have to go and pick up Hannah's from my grandparents and wear theirs because theirs are, they're the same size as, shoe size as me. Six or seven, so I'm hoping that they will fit. If not, I might have to hike in trainers, which is just not what I want to do. Yeah. But I might, I might do that. I yeah. might look online. Yeah, it might be okay because the, the route isn't too, like, rocky. Right? Yeah, like uh huh. It's just with my ankles though and my feet. I have like the world's flattest feet, so I have my ankles are just they're not horrific, but they they need support. So, yeah. and you can go do your garden. You can show them your garden. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll do that then. So Sarah mentioned she put her shoes outside, so they just they still look wet, to be honest. But there's like mould on like the outside of it, so that's what we're looking at. Um, and then we've got my plants. These are broccoli, tender stem broccoli. And these are the carrots that need pruning because they're just a bit, a bit thick. Um, so I'm gonna thin them out. There's pumpkins in the back of there, and there's uh, strawberries and cucumbers in there as well. And I've got some, um, sorry, those ones strawberries, those are tomatoes. These are strawberries and then these are blueberries in there as well. And some sunflowers in the little garden at the corner. So that's what I'm looking at. So we have cut all these down, everything you can see very well through the netting. Um, and I've chopped the leaves off some of them as well. You can see how much has came out of the carrots and then the broccoli. Oakley's red hot because he's been out in the sun, aren't you? Yeah, you've had a wonderful time. Come on, we'll go back in, we'll see, see ma'am. And now we're in, here is ma'am. Hello. Hello. Just been vlogging the, the rest of the outside, what I've been doing. <laughs> and Oakley said hello. Hello. Oh, I'm just looking at boots still. I'm also looking at holidays, because that sounds to be a constant thing at the minute, trying to find one that we can afford to go on. <laughs> We are currently just getting ready to go. I have just done my mascara, I've gotten changed, I'm wearing an old Gymshark set. And this, I didn't want to wear a matching set, I wanted to wear something different on the top, but I have nothing uh, that would have matched these pants. The top that I was wearing is not a hiking top, because it did match, it was just like a little white, when this is on it looks like a bandeau. So it worked because it was nice and like long, rather than just like just over my boobs. But, <coughs> Wearing a matching set, feeling very self-conscious that I look silly, but never mind, this is what I'm wearing. Jack is sorting the water, I think. Yeah, I think he's gone back to watering these pants. We have got into a little bit of a system now, which is very, very good. Oh, it was a really hard bit of SPF come out. We like <laughs> sorted the system out when it was raining though, so we keep like thinking we need to take certain stuff to like wash Oakley and we don't, so. This will be like the first sunny hike we've done. We, I rang my mama because my boots are completely soaked through still. So I am going to get Hannah's hiking boots for the day. I've looked at some to buy and I have favourites. But my favourites are like 100 quid. So we'll see if I actually am. Um, get them or whether I get some cheaper ones. I just, I don't like how the, yeah, it's just the aesthetics of them. And the hundred quid ones are really, really pretty. They're from, um, what's it called? I've actually forgotten the name of the brand already. I couldn't find all of the articles that were talking about which are the best hiking shoes to buy. We're all hiking shoes that were like 250 quid and that's not where we're at at the minute. We'll get there someday. But right now I'm looking for like, it, oh my God, are you kidding? Mm -hmm. That's how much you've got out. Yeah. How is there any left? Because they've got to be like two centimetres apart and they're all like next to each other. 
So I've just gone on the older websites, like we got a Mountain Warehouse. I looked on Decathlon, but that's an ugly website. But I've just went through and picked the ones that I like the look of, and I like the expensive ones typically. I'm having a debate about taking my hair out currently. Hi for hiking, this works. But I'm sick of having my hair in plaits. I've been in plaits for like the last week. They've also been on the plaits a lot on the channel, and I don't like having that repetition. But for hiking, it keeps it out of the way and it is sunny so I don't want my hair sticking to my neck so I might keep them in. This is that little hiking box that has everything in. So this is a big thing of water just in case Oakley runs out or we run out and also we use that to wash Oakley at the end of hikes if he needs it. This is a paw uh, washer scrubber thing that he just puts his paw in to get the majority of the mud out. We've got some shampoo because we did it with just water once was it didn't stunk. yeah it stunk it didn't get up and then we have this conditioning spray we bought for him a while ago yeah just for the bath but then when he stunk after that time we thought we'll just take it and then hopefully the car won't smell as much why are we taking this it was just doing the box already we take it we're generally using his sausage at the minute which is like a high value treat oh god like two bags of things and then we take these as well are you excited do you know what's happening uh, anything else in there? I'll put my... No, is, is your water bottle filled? No. Where is it? No, no, no. I'll get it. Hello. We have the hiking boots. Uh, Oakley's had a runabout and we've just seen my baby sisters as well. So we're off to Morrison's to get food now. Oh, I forgot to pick up the backpack. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to Morrison's, then going home, then to Ingram. <laughs> We have the snacks, they're all piled on me. Jack's just going to get mayo for me because he forgot that like um, the cafe was a thing that he could ask at. So he's going to get mayo for me. I have got an egg crust sandwich with cheese and onion crisps because I like to put the crisps in the sandwich. And I also have fridge raiders which I've opened while I'm waiting for him. Jack's got two sandwiches. He's got, I think because the vegan, he just likes the extra calories. Then he's got the vegan fridge raiders and Walker's baked. Me and Jack have this argument all the time about what's better. He prefers baked. I think baked tastes awful. But yeah, we're going to sit and eat, then head home and pick up the bag and then sit off. <laughs> This is the view from the, it doesn't do it justice on this camera, there we go, you can see it a bit better. And then over this side and then we got the lovely sheep. So it is 25, everyone's leaving, but we're trying to oh, let, let it bother with, are we? No. We were saying um, we much prefer going in the afternoon and I've said this in other vlogs before so I'm sorry if you're sick of it, but it's just trying to not let the the guilt the societal pressure make you feel bad about not doing it earlier but obviously honestly it's probably like worked out better because it is warm and Oakley's already panting if you could see him <laughs> baby hey have you had a nice nap he had a lovely runabout at my grandparents when we picked up the boots so he had a lovely nap and now we're gonna, gonna do the walk. There's lo it's not as busy as I thought it was gonna be, but no. there's loads of people here doing this walk, I think, but a lot of people are leaving now. So, yeah. It's quieter, a little bit cooler. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's get going then. Oh, he's getting ready. Are you ready, baby? Where are you? Where's your face? Hey! Are you ready for a hike? Are you ready? He's had a big drink, so nobody panic. Um, and we'll be making sure he's getting enough. What? I thought you were talking to me. Yeah. <laughs> Here and things. Uh, and we'll make sure he's walking. He's drinking all the way through the walk, so he's gonna be okay. It's not too warm. He's <laughs> leaning on the parcel shelf. I'm off. Right, we're off. I don't know where we're going. Jack says he does though. Oh, we haven't got the car. Hang on. Right, it's bloody windy like. The hair's blowing a gale. Are you gonna be alright? Do you hear your hair blowing in the wind? That's not too long at the minute, so it's okay.
happening, baby? Cold drinking. We are here. Huh? That's really deep land. We're at the top, so this is like the stream that goes into it. And then down that way is the actual like waterfall bit. <laughs> well, come back up if you don't like it. Come on. <laughs> okay, why don't you try over here, look? Go that way. <laughs> Daddy laughing at you. <laughs> why is he doing that? Because he can't tell where the deep bits are. <laughs> Oakley, too, not too much. That's better, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, this way. Right, that's enough because I don't want you to get poorly. Oh, oh, <laughs> <see else. laughs> Good job. I go because it's going to shake. <laughs> no, my God. <laughs> Jack, I can't. I've got my camera. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Oh, oh where, where the hell have I gone? I can't even figure out where I'm going. Right, hang on. Is this okay? Yeah. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. <laughs> oh, it's smoking. Where's Jack gone? Oh, he's away. There. So this is the top of the waterfall. I don't know if you can hear it. Wow! What are you doing, baby? Oh, it's a good shake. No, he keeps trying to jump off the bloody edge. We keep saying he's got a death wish. Hi, baby. It is here. We are here. I'm too scared of going down to the edge because Oakley keeps trying to jump over the actual edge. But this is it. Very pretty. Look at all the moss on it. It's so stunning. Can you hear him crying because he wants to go in? So pretty. So I think we've discovered Oakley is obsessed with water because we just had an absolute nightmare with him. I was just trying to get a picture of him, like of me and him, next to the waterfall and he was crying, like crying his eyes out to get to the water. So, not sure what's going on. Uh, he's just been a bit of a dick to be honest. So I think he's obsessed with the water. <laughs> we've just had five, ten minutes sitting on this little rock we found well not we found this this lovely clearing right next to the spout waterfall whatever you want to call it but oakley's being awful <laughs> he's literally he's obviously just really i'm gonna use you sorry okay. um he's obviously just really miffed that we're not letting him in the water because he's just crying and like trying to yank <sighs> so i'm trying not to let it get to me we were just saying that it would it would be fine if he um, didn't drink as much water. Yeah, we would like, let we him in more. Swimming, but... but I'm sure. I was just saying to Jack. I'm sure that it's like if if it's hot, don't let them drink like a ton and t like a ton of water because it can make them worse. Uh, and he will like he'll literally go in and just drink constantly, won't he? Yeah, there was that time at the beach where I just yeah he made himself it. ill because he drank so much water. Well, that was salt water, but still, I think this it's still the same premise. So yeah, we've had 10 minutes. We're gonna start walking back now. It took us an hour to get here. It's probably about an hour back, I maybe. I think less, because it's less, it's more downhill. Yeah, I suppose. That little bit's gonna be uphill. Yeah. But yeah, Especially. we'll see. Cause it's, well, it's 20 past six now. So we'll see what time we'll get back. Look at this view. It's so pretty. Look. Oh, so beautiful for zoom in. So pretty. Guys, I'm so close to this rabbit. Look at that. I'm so close to this rabbit. What the hell? I'm so close. I'm so close to this baby. Look at that baby. Do you see how close I got to the rabbit? Yeah. I was so freaking close. It was such a baby. Let me show you the pictures I got. We are back at the car, you're resting on top. Oakley's clipped in, he's literally below the camera. Uh, we just had a run in with a, a sheep mama and it's baby. 
<laughs> we weren't. Oakley's fine. We, he doesn't really have any prey instinct, really, does he? No. So, he, yeah, and he was just more annoyed that Jack was walking away, but the, the sheep mama was not happy. <laughs> Kept like stamping its foot. There was two sets. There was a set with a baby, baby lamb, wasn't it? It was literally, is that for me? Yes, please. Uh, it was literally, like, how big was this lamb? Tiny. Like, literally, like, this big. Oh, I'll take my hair out as well. It was tiny, and I'm obsessed with lambs this year. I just love them. We keep stuffing the car. Jack's obsessed as well, aren't you? Mm. We keep just stuffing the car and watching them, because when they do their little jumps... <laughs> so fucking cute. Uh, but yeah, there was one set, and they were fine. We just walked past. We just, we kept him as far away as possible. Not because we, again, not because we were scared of Oakley attacking, but we just didn't want to disturb the sheep. So we went right to the edge, but then there was another one around the corner, and this one was like, back the F up, because it kept stomping its feet. So I had to like stand back with Oakley, and Jack like walked towards it, and it got out of the way eventually, but it, Mama was not happy. But we're back at the car now. I am thirsty. Yeah. And we don't have. There's a sprite. Oh, yeah, there is. There's a sprite. We. Where's the water? Let me show you. How... No. That's how much water we left. I didn't realise that the. You know, the gallon one that we filled up? Jack doesn't think that that's like clean, clean. We haven't clean, cleaned it in a while. So. We, we filled it up last time we went for a walk, like a, like a week ago. A couple of weeks ago. Um, so I just emptied the water and refilled it out and like rinsed it or anything like that. Sorry, I've drank all that. So it um, it was just, it might have been a bit stale or a bit. Yeah, which I didn't realise because I thought that we'd be able to refill it. So that's the only water we have. Yeah. So I'm thirsty. Oakley's had a few more drinks. He threw up on the way back, but we think it was like a gag reflex thing because we throw him his treats because he loves it. And we think it literally hit the back of his throat and he just gagged. <laughs> threw up because it was fine it wasn't phlegmy it was literally like treats and grass wasn't it yeah. and he hasn't thrown up since he's poo he hasn't pooed since so we don't think like he's ill so and he's fine he's having a jack's giving him a drink now he's been a bit of a pain not he's he's been fine since he had that little fit yeah uh, like huff about the water he's been fine he's just been a bit a little bit more pulley but he's tired isn't he yeah he's knackered, he's knackered. And he's thirsty. Yeah. These shoes that I borrowed off Han, awful. I don't know, did I show them? Let's see if I can get my foot up. Can they see? I don't know, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> These are them. Awful. Absolutely awful. Um, they are like, I don't need, what material would you describe this as? Well, what, what, yeah. The material they are. Like, anyway, a, like a foam type. Like they're a... so thick. I need to tell Han to get yeah. some new hiking boots if we're going to go to the lake district again this year. They're so Drink. thick. Uh, and they're really, really high as well, which is good to know because when I was looking, I was debating between getting a medium and a high. These are high. I don't like them. Pressing into my legs. So, you okay? He's fine, by the way. He just does that when he drinks water. Drama queen. <laughs> you just, you got, a, you got a big palate, apparently. Oh, back of my t-shirt, so cool. Oh my I'm god, like, show them. Show oh, them how sweaty you can are. Can you can you do it with the camera? Look at Jack's back. <laughs> You've been carrying the backpack though. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> Daddy's a sweaty boy. He's sweaty. Are you okay for a drink? Have you had enough? Just give him a break. But yeah, that was a good hike. It was a really nice route. Yeah. It was a bit more intense than I was thinking, just because there was a few uphill parts. Rocky bits. Rocky bits, yeah, which we don't, we haven't really done a lot of, have we? No, Simon's side is probably the most we've done. That, that's, yeah, and that, we've only done that once, that rocky yeah. bit. And that's just, it's really rocky, but it's really steep, so you do it really like, quickly. Yeah. Whereas uh -huh. that was quite like... Rocky throughout. Yeah. Yeah. So my toes are hurting a little bit. I need better shoes. But it was a lovely walk. It's kind of... It's, it's like Simon said, it's a famous walk in Northumberland, so if you're from Northumberland, you've probably done it. But if you haven't, it's a very nice walk. It was just, be prepared for some rocky bits, because we saw some people on the way there and on the way back, just wearing like jeans, a dress, and this poor woman was carrying her shoes, because I think she just wore, I think they were just like flip-flops, you know? Right. And she, she had them, and you could see she was like hobbling. So just be a little bit prepared, but it's it's a really it's a really nice spot really nice part for like a picnic wouldn't it at the end yeah. really really lovely spot oh thank you do i smell <laughs>
It's weird not having to do anything. I'm used oh, to yeah. like having to wipe them down or Dry something. Down, yeah. It's still lovely. It must be like 15 degrees, 14 yeah, degrees. It's really, it's a really lovely day. We picked a lovely day for it. So the plan now is just to go home? Yeah. Oh, what time is it? It's half seven. So probably took a bit, it, a bit less than an hour. Well, an hour, I reckon. We did, we did stop but to take photos. I was just about to say, we stopped to take photos and uh, I also stopped to look at that rabbit. <laughs> Yeah. And we stopped for that sheep. We've got the hour trip home, which will be nice because it's still light. That's the thing, we were very hot on the way there, weren't we? Yeah. Very the sun hot. Was, there was no clouds at all. Yeah, uh -huh. and on the way back it's been lovely because it's been a bit more hazy. So we're actually quite pleased that we came a little bit later because if we came earlier, 100% it would have been like sweaty all the way through. Whereas yeah. on the ba way back it's just felt like a gentle walk, hasn't it? Yeah. So. Don't give him too much, we're going to have to stop from no, just, for a week. No, I'll drink. That's fun. So yeah, are you glad we came later? Yes. It wasn't entirely intentional. It was, but it wasn't at the same time. Like, it I wanted just to wake up a bit earlier. Yeah, it wasn't to start with and then we were like, it's already late, we may as well just... Yeah, uh -huh. And it feels weird starting like, at like five o'clock and then finishing at half seven. But with the light nights, it's just so nice that we can, especially with this weather. It's beautiful, isn't it? So we've got the lovely, beautiful drive back now through Ingram, and it's called Bremish Valley. So yeah, I need to change my shoes. Wow. Because we have came for food. We popped home and we've got Oakley's food, we got some water, we went for a wee. What else happened? Jack took some paracetamol. Jack took some paracetamol because he, he hasn't drank enough water. So we have came for food. We are at Pitman, which is the best pizza place in the whole of Northumberland and Newcastle. And the world. I don't know, I can't say that. But in the northeast, it's the best pizza. So we're at Pitman Pizza. We're gonna eat in the car because we always do here. And I am a fan of eating in the car when picking up food because I hate paying for food and it being cold. Not a vibe. I hate it. I hate it. They're getting on top of the van now, Jack. There's a van. We're in Bedlington. <laughs> I said that as if that was to explain why this That's is it. happening. That's it. We're in Bedlington. You know what's going on. No. <laughs> Um, they're shaking the, the van. There's a van going around the car park we're in. Like a, how did you, what type transit of van? van. Like a, a, yeah, like a transit van. And there are people climbing on the van and the van's driving and they're trying to get them off. Like, the, I go on. I don't think they're trying to get them off. I think they're trying <laughs> no, to No, I think they are. Ready? Boom. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel bad. Oh, that seems in. Hang on. I don't feel bad it's including fucking, them. You're driving and then recording on his phone and then on top of the van. I don't feel bad recording them because they were going too fast for you to be able to see who they are. They're literally just going up and down the street, going fast. And I reckon he's trying to see if, how long they can hold on. He is trying to book a room off. If they come off. They're dead? Yeah. <laughs> Although they're dead. broken bones. And they're doing it in a car park as well. So they'll fly onto someone's car and die. Yeah, and it's busy. <laughs> and they keep parking in the electric bays as well. <laughs> so we've got this as an entertainment while we're waiting. Jack's went in and ordered the pizza and they're going to come out when they're ready. But I'll show you when, them when they're here because they've definitely been on the vlog before, haven't they? Yeah. Yeah. Probably. But Oakley's here. It's very dark in here apparently. There's your little face. 
You're all good, aren't you, baby You're boy? You're tired. You're all good. He had a he got out when we pulled up at home. Oh, and oh, what a <laughs> basically refused to get out of the car because he's what so tired. Boy. But he's been out and had a wee and had a drink. Yeah. So he's doing good. It was a nice drive home, wasn't it? Yeah. Really, really nice weather. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's like what? Well, it's quarter past nine and it's still light. And it's still it's fifteen degrees apparently. Crazy. It was twelve degrees when we were driving home, but yeah, it's a really really nice day. The pizzas are here. Go on, do it. <laughs> I could have literally just put that sound effect on instead of me doing a terrible it. attempt. <laughs> oh, it's so jammy. Oh, they've cut them into nice slices this time. Oh, they have. Normally nice. they just cut them into four and it's a nightmare. <laughs> four. Oh, guys, I wish you could smell this through the thing. It's so freaking good. Oh, I'm so excited. It's now the next day and I'm just editing this video back and I'm coming on to film the outro. It was a lovely, lovely day. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog because it was really, really nice. I'm sorry I was so tired at the beginning. But editing that back, I was like, Sarah, can you please act more awake? <laughs> so I'm sorry I was so tired at the beginning. It was a lovely day. I highly recommend that hike if you're in the Northeast area or if you visit, it was just beautiful. It was such lovely weather and the pizza was awesome. We came home after we'd finished. We always sit and watch TikToks, which is just always lovely. And then we came home and watched an episode of sort of Supernatural. And Oakley's been fine today as well. He's nice and tired and he's, he is definitely okay because I know some people worry with dogs going out in the heat, but he, he managed fine. If it had been any hotter, we wouldn't have had him out, but he's been fine, absolutely fine today as well. So he's all good. So don't worry about him. But thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to leave the video a like, comment and subscribe if you are new. Uh, if you don't do any of that, that's okay. Thank you so much for watching and making it to the end, but I shall hopefully see you in another video. Bye.